Hi guys, we are here with your Bible reading. We hope you guys are having a good day. Sorry the video is late today. It's my fault. I don't know what he's talking about. Alright. My fault. It's late. Today we'll be starting in chapter 8 of Matthew, guys. We'll be reading um, chapter 8, verses 1 through 17. And then we'll be continuing on with Psalm 9 from yesterday. And then our Proverbs will be Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. Are you going to follow along? If you guys would like to follow along, we'll be reading in the New International Version. Wait, I'm sure to get his place, then we'll get started. You ready? All right, sure, is ready. You guys ready? Let's begin. When Jesus came down from the mountainside, large crowds followed him. A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. Which he meant healing him of his leprosy. Jesus reached out his hand and touched the man. I am willing, he said, be clean. Immediately he was cleansed of his leprosy. Then Jesus said to him, See that you don't tell anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift Moses commanded as a testimony to them. When Jesus had entered Capernaum, a centurion came to him asking for help. Lord, he said, my servant lies at home paralyzed, suffering terribly. Jesus said to him, shall I come and heal him? The centurion replied, Lord, I do not deserve to have you come under my roof, but just say the word and my servant will be healed. For I myself am a man under authority, the soldiers under me. I tell this one go, and he goes, and that one come, and he comes. I say to my servant, do this, and he does it. What great faith that man has, doesn't he? We all should have faith like that man. When Jesus heard this, he was amazed and said to those following him, Truly I tell you, I have not found anyone in Israel with such great faith. I say to you that many will come from the east and the west and will take their places at the feast with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. But the subjects of the kingdom will be thrown outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Then Jesus said to the centurion, Go, let it be done just as you believed it would. And his servant was healed at that moment. When Jesus came into Peter's house, he saw Peter's mother-in-law lying in bed with a fever. He touched her hand and the fever left her, and she got up and began to wait on him. When evening came, many who were demon-possessed were brought to him. And he drove out the spirits with a word and healed all the sick. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. He took up our infirmities and bore our diseases. And that's where we're going to stop with Matthew today, guys. What was the reading, Matthew, Mark? Chapter 8. Verses 1 through 17. Something wrong? Oh well, no, I just. Something wrong? I'm not start the video over, I'll do it over. Oh, no, fine. No, start it over. No, fine. Psalm 9, verse 13 through 20. Are you there? Yeah. <laughs> We're going to continue on with Psalm 9 today, guys, with verses 13 through 20. Lord, 
See how my enemies persecute me. Have mercy and lift me up from the gates of death, that I may declare your praises in the gates of daughter Zion, and there rejoice in your salvation. The nations have fallen into the pit they have dug. Their feet are caught in the net they have hidden. The Lord is known by his acts of justice. The wicked are ensnared by the work of their hands. The wicked go down to the realm of the dead, all the nations that forget God. But God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. Arise, Lord, do not let mortals triumph. Let the nations be judged in your presence. Strike them with terror, Lord. Let the nations know they are only mortal. And that was continuing on with Psalm 9 from yesterday, with verses 13 through 20. In our Proverbs today, Proverbs chapter 3, verses 1 through 6. Wisdom bestows well-being. My son, do not forget my teaching, but keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong your life many years and bring you peace and prosperity. Let love and faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight. And that was our Proverbs reading for today, guys. Now I feel like I should tell you guys my opinion um, here on this in our psalm here where it says, but God will never forget the needy. The hope of the afflicted will never perish. Some people would say, well, if he doesn't forget the needy, then why are there starving people, starving kids in Africa and starving people here and there? And why is there this and that going on? Well, maybe God is giving us the chance to help each other as brothers and sisters, as being good Christians. Maybe he's giving us the opportunity and testing us to see if we will help one another. The ones who are able to help to see if they help each other or they just complain about it. Maybe those people don't believe in God. Maybe they need to turn to God. Maybe they need someone there to teach them about God. We never know what God is thinking or what God, why God is doing what He's doing. But it's always for a reason. And we're not supposed to question Him. But we should pray for each other and help each other. Alright guys, well that was our Bible reading for today. I hope it touched your guys' hearts. We are going to go over to Brother Sherm now with our homework. And our homework question for last night was... Who went to live with the Philistines during a famine? And the answer we should have came up with is... Isaac. Isaac son of Abraham, da uh, son of Sarah and Abraham, Isaac, Jacob and Esau's father. All right, guys, and our homework question for tonight is, who was a food store supervisor in Egypt when famine came? We talked about this person the other day. And we could find that in the book of Genesis. The book of Genesis, the very, very first book of the Bible. And this person was in charge of that, but he was also one of the head people in Egypt. The only person in Egypt that was greater than him in power was Pharaoh. 
which is the king in Egypt, Pharaoh. So that should give you a hint of who it is. So that is our question for tonight. So let's get out our prayer books. All right, guys, we should keep the following people in prayer. Rhonda Karshner, Cindy Welsh, Dora Carper, Debbie Lee, Shannon and her son Giovanni, Sandy, Tater, Luann, Bridget and family, Sherman Crabtree, Patty Haynes, Zach, Ramona Henry, Miranda Caverly and Jeremy Caverly, Eddie Clary, Christopher Serbach, Macy, April and Linda Thacker, Kenny Wellman, Eric, Annie West, Aunt Pam, Barb Post, Margie Sickles and her husband Chuck Sickles, Annie West, Amy Slayton, all the homeless people and animals, Doris Thompson, Jayla, who's trying to get water to villages in Africa. See what I'm talking about? Helping each other. God wants us to help each other. Just like Jayla is trying to do to the people in Africa. She's trying to get water to them. Roy and Lori Mollett, Abby Myers, Jimmy Myers, Mindy Gallimore, Melody Ramey, Sarah Gillum, Norma Karshner, Ariana Lloyd, Norma Boyer, and Tammy Ashworth. All right, guys, that was our prayer request for today. And that was our Bible reading and our homework and everything. So we hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Let's bring those souls to Jesus, and God willing, we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another Bible reading. Bye, guys. God bless.